Hey Virgo, welcome in. How's everybody doing today? My name's Shannon. We're here with a timeless reading for this month. I'll be attempting to do one each month for you guys. We're gonna jump in with the tarot and see what you guys have going on here today. All right, for Virgo, please. What are we dealing with? What does Virgo need to know about? Thank you. Interesting. We're starting out with the Hierophant, Virgo. So this could be a contract. This could be us talking to somebody that we consider a mentor. This could be this could be a lot of things. The Hierophant speaks to us following our values and our moral compass. I'm seeing the fool, the chariot, the star on the bottom of the deck. Wow, I'm gonna take these out, guys. So it looks like you guys are moving in a new direction, moving towards something that's going to require a leap of faith of sorts. Um, but it does look like you guys have done the work. You guys have really put the work in on healing yourself, on deciding what direction you want to go in and really grabbing hold tightly to the power that you have within yourself to get yourself to that point. So we're starting out with the higher event. It looks like you guys have already done the work of healing from something getting yourself on track to be moving towards this new opportunity. And it looks like this new opportunity, whatever this is for you, really aligns with your values, your dreams, what you want to see happen in your life. All right, show me the recent past, please. Thank you. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords coming out in the recent past. So you guys have moved away from something. All right, you've moved away from something, moving towards something better. The Six of Swords speaks to us mentally moving on from something we know no longer serves us towards a different situation that we know will fit with us much better, which absolutely you're moving towards the Hierophant. This is something that you really feel called to do. This is something that is not only going to benefit you, but probably benefit others in a big way as well. Let's see the near future. Interesting. We have the devil coming out in the near future. Show me this devil. What is this devil energy? The king of pentacles. Virgo, we could have somebody trying to hold us back. It could be an earth sign, doesn't necessarily have to be, but this would be a person who, I'm hearing sits on business, so a person who really understands what they want to receive. This person could be very focused on material things, um, but there's something here about this king of pentacles seeing this work you're doing, seeing how far you're getting with it, because we've got five out of seven cards here are major arcana. So this is something big you're going through right now, Virgo. And this person could be trying to lead you back. Alternatively, they could just be getting in your head and trying to bring you down. Show me this camp. Interesting. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. So the King of Pentacles, I say, show me the King of Pentacles. Virgo, you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. We have the Three of Swords coming out here. This person wants to see you. I mean, I hate to say somebody wants to see you hurt, but I feel like this person has been hurt, not necessarily by you, but this is a hurt person. And I just told Aquarius the same thing. So if you really are going through something like this, you might wanna check out the Aquarius reading and see where Aquarius sits in your chart. Um, but hurt people hurt people. And it feels to me like this person sees how well you're doing, this person sees the work you've put in, and they want to keep you bound either to them or potentially to a job of some sort, something here in the physical. So they're definitely acting as, or trying to act as a block 
to where you're going, but we see the Six of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Wands speaks to us having success, acknowledgement, but more so, more importantly, success after a long fought battle. So this isn't something that was just sent to you out of nowhere and you're like, okay, things are great now. No, this is something you've worked very hard for. And this person might be trying to step in as as something trying to throw you off, trying to throw you off the path. But you showing up as the Queen of Wands, I don't think it's going to happen. You're not going to allow for it to happen. You're following your passion and you're going within. Whereas this person is working more externally, you're working within yourself to really get yourself to where you want to be, all right? But important heads up here that if this is sounding like you're reading, this sounds like something that you're going through right now, be aware you might have somebody in your space, in your energy field, that is trying to muck things up for you, okay? Let's see what's crowning. Yes, crowning. So crowning, we have death coming out. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. So crowning, what we have in our head, you know you're going through a major transition. This makes sense. We have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. You're heading towards stability, towards happiness towards getting to the place you want to be and feeling confident in doing so and feeling confident in that new place. So in this case, this death card doesn't take me by surprise. It's not worrying me. The only thing I see out here that is concerning, but I'm glad it came up so that it comes out as a warning, is whoever this King of Pentacles is and why they want to see you get knocked off your path. Let's see what's in the foundation. Ah, okay. So in the foundation, we have the seven of wands. So where we're coming from, why this happened, you stood your ground. You put your foot down and said, absolutely not. And more than likely, it was something to do with this king of pentacles, okay? You put your foot down in regard to something and now this person is feeling some kind of way about it and they're attempting to knock you off balance, but it's not going to happen, guys. It's absolutely not going to happen. Not if this is your reading and your energy. You're moving forward. It's kind of like, oh, that's this is what you're going to throw at me? Okay, no problem. I can deal with that. I've been there before. It's like, look, she's looking away from it too. You guys aren't even registered. This isn't even registering to you. So maybe that's why it's important that this is coming out so that you recognize that somebody is in the background trying to do some things because your eye is on the prize right now. You are focused on whatever this passion is of yours Whatever you are moving towards, moving away from, is in the rearview mirror and you're not looking in it anymore. We have the Six of Swords down here on the bottom of the deck again. And it's interesting because we have the Five of Wands, the Hermit, and then the Six of Wands. Did I say the Six of Swords? That came out too. That's over here. Um, so there was some type of a battle. There was something that you fought really hard for, had to go inward to deal with, to get to a culmination point with, and you're coming out the other side successfully. I just don't know why this, this whoever this King of Pentacles, this devil energy is, whatever this is, they want to try to bring you back down to this energy of the seven of wands where you're having to defend yourself, but you have transcended this energy and now you are coming out as the queen of wands, Virgo. So you're moving, you're moving in, it's such a positive energy, like moving from a kind of, confused, not so hot, 
like really going through stuff type of energy, you can feel the movement of this energy moving towards something more positive. In reality, this whatever this situation is over here, it really feels like a tiny little speed bump to me. Let's see, do you have any more guidance for Virgo spirit in regard to this situation? Thank you. Okay, the lovers and the three of wands. You guys are going to come to a major decision point where you're going to have to choose how you want to take action, okay? Um, and it's likely in regard to whomever this king of pentacles is. Yeah, we have the knight of swords, the ten of wands. Let's see, show me the lovers. The knight of cups. Oh boy. Now we're getting into a whole other intemperance. Okay. I feel like this person's going to be coming through and attempting to play on your emotions. All right? You're going to have to make a decision. And spirit's guiding you to utilize temperance to be able to balance how you're feeling with your actions and not allowing these feelings or emotions to overtake your logic and reasoning okay because it feels like this person is going to come in try one method that's not going to work then they're going to come after you with another method that's not going to work either. As long as we're able to maintain the balance that we have right now, we continue to make good decisions and we keep moving in the direction that we're going. Wow, Virgo, you guys got a lot going on, but overall, this is a very positive reading. It's kind of like spirit just poking their head up and being like, Hey, just FYI, be on the lookout for this. But other than that, you're doing great. Keep going. All right, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it at today. I truly hope this reaches whoever it needs to reach and that it brings you confirmation or clarity on your situation. I love you guys so much. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will talk to you again soon.